You're listening to the Daily Nugget, dnugget.com, for March 16th. It is Entertainment Saturday. No Olé! Isn't that for ET on a Tuesday, Sam? Oh. Um, <laughs> yay! Well, he's the producer, so he can do what he wants. Jen can do what she wants, too, because she's the mom. It's true. Thank you. And Janelle? Go to your room. What about me? Okay. Can I do what I want? Oh, I don't think that's going to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> nope. True. Je- Janelle, if you have to ask, the answer is probably no. <laughs> uh, I am the rogue here. Let's just go ahead and say that out loud. Okay. Oh. Hey, every every show needs one. You're the loose cannon, if you will. Yeah. Hopefully with confetti. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one that we would say, bless her heart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know oh, what that means. Look at this appointment. <laughs> <laughs> there. All right. Oh. I've been classified disappointments many times, so it fits. <laughs> to Continue. your face? Yeah. People call you disappointment? Oh, yeah. oh, no. No. But I, I, I read their minds. I know. You have a superpower? How do you not know this? I do have a lot of spiritual gifts, and cleaning is one of those. Just oh, come on. Um, yeah. Reading minds. Is that a yeah. spiritual so telepathy, gift? telepathy. Yeah. And then cleaning. It's spiritual gifts is, yeah, mm-hmm, right up there. Windex? <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness, don't I, you know? I, I am don't, not godly. I don't know if that's in the Bible. <laughs> this is not it's Jesus not. Religious Sunday. Maybe at laser church, you need to make sure those lasers are well polished <laughs> and the surfaces oh, are shiny sure the so the lasers, lasers can. Clean. Yeah. Okay. I digress. Go ahead. Go for it, sir. <laughs> Entertainment Saturday. Yep. That's what we're on. <laughs> Pele. How you doing there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> you know him, you love him. Pele, right? The soccer star. Oh, he died. Died in December 2022. He oh. wrote in his will that he was willing to have another child. That he may have another child. Oh, he Not may one. have another child. It, he wrote in his will that he may have another child. Oh! Okay. All okay. Right. I was really sure. confused by As this. As many men are, he was probably willing to have more children, too. He had eight <laughs> child. His He could have the what is happening? <laughs> Do I need to read it? Send it over. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. <laughs> this was supposed to be simple. I don't understand. The headline reads, <laughs> woman you. claiming to be football legend's daughter wants his body exhumed for a DNA test. There's the headline. Thank you. <laughs> and, as, as, and since we're since we're in America here, football, they're referring to soccer. Right. Okay. Um, so, and they're talking about the legendary soccer player, Pele, mm-hmm. who apparently at one point, uh, the famous Christ the Redeemer uh, statue in Brazil had a Pele jersey on it. It looks like it was projected on there. Oh, that makes it <laughs> little, slightly less sacrilegious. I don't know. Maybe Andy, you're falling I, apart. What's uh, happening? What's going okay. on over there? Yeah. Remember when you were a professional on. DJ? He <laughs> took his hat and his jacket off. Maybe that's where his power it's comes from. That was his superpower. I guess. I'm in it a padded be. room and it's getting hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, so she wants a DNA test. He wants a DNA test to figure out if he is the father. But Pele has passed. Right. So Pele's left the building. Yeah. Can you do a DNA test on a corpse? I think if there's hair, you can do it. I read that somewhere. Maybe I feel like it's very disturbing for the. Maybe family, that's from though. a Star Trek episode. Right. Well, but why then they does said, she think she's related? But they, but then they said one of Paley's seven children said we've already carried out the tests and it's been confirmed that she is not our sister. Oh, they just need to go okay. on more. So she doesn't believe the tests. <laughs> yes. We did it and she did it in the lab. We and she did it in the laboratory. It was confirmed that there's no relationships. But apparently they think well, if if Pele is exhumed, I don't get it. So th- you have to share DNA if you have the same parent. Right. 
So this lady is um, crazy. This is like that one. Remember that lady who did the doll thing? The rag yes. doll. Yes. yes. Who could forget? Yes. Wasn't she from um, yeah, somewhere she near from Brazil? Brazil? Was she from Brazil? I think so. I, I blocked it out. I have nightmares <laughs> about that. I too, too. This That's is part just, of it. No. Maybe. Yeah. You think she's the, the same, same lady? Woman? No, not the same lo- woman. I'm just saying. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, There's something in the I mean, water in this yeah. area Does of Brazil. Does she share DNA with her children? <laughs> yeah. Her, her, the lady was Maybe from Brazil. Okay. Look at that. All right. I'm back on track, everybody. I'm <laughs> tracking. <laughs> I'm, I got callbacks to older episodes. Thank you. You I'm should also in. listen to. Which I listen to, like as opposed to Janelle. I do too. Hey, are you calling me out now? Come on. I do listen to them. Fight, fight, fight. Bless her heart. <laughs> yes, right. sir. Pele's fortune is reported to be worth about 12 million pounds, 30% left to his widow, 60% to his seven children, and 10% for two grandchildren. So this lady's trying to get a 60% pie of 12 million pounds. So, you know. Maybe six million divided by seven children. Maybe right. a million if she's lucky. I feel like shot. some people just think that if they believe hard enough, something will be true. And that seems That's what to be the, the movies say. Well, what, no, seriously, what would be her motive here? He's already passed. Well, money. Well, you and can the ac- money. We well, have yeah, the money's already distributed. It's like locked down. Well, why? It's easier Why to accuse you... people that can't. Are you back? <laughs> <laughs> Janelle, I feel like Boy, you what? you have experience with um, trying to exhume dead bodies. Oddly enough, I do have a story. <laughs> Janelle! <laughs> oh, no. Is this no, family it's friendly? Not, no. It's not funny, though. Is this... <laughs> oh, this is pretty funny right now. <laughs> No, this is scary. What are you talking about? Fortunately, they can't listen right now. I can tell the story. (laughs) That you know of. You're talking about a body, right? Yeah. No. What just happened? This really happened. Oh, This this is a true story. All right. right. Continue. (laughs) My father passed away. Okay. Very sensitive subject. And we go, he picked out his plot already because this was an arrangement made ahead of time. And they go to dig the site for where they had picked out and there was already somebody buried there. What? No. (laughs) Did he get like half price or something? No. No, we had to go. Who was it? Did they figure out who it was? No. Huh. No, but when they went to go dig the hole for the casket, it was they found it and thinking, rut row, something's wrong here. <laughs> that adds so, a whole new rut row to grave robber. We had to go pick out two new plots for my parents. Oh my goodness. It was, was horrible. Was that the is person horrible? In, okay, was the person in a coffin or was it just the body? Well, I, I didn't look in the hole. I well, don't no, know. This, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, if it's Janelle just... was actually there with the shovel. Yeah. Oh if it's a body, it was some hastily co- uh, done cover up. If there's a coffin, then there was some sort of paperwork that got switched. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> because think about it. think about it. If you were to dispose of a body, what better place than in a cemetery? Okay, did you hear about it on the news, Janelle? <laughs> no, no. Okay, then no. it was in a coffin. It was in a yeah. coffin. Okay. Yeah, you know, some people pay for vaults. I think that's ridiculous. But anyway, uh, all that to say, wow. we had wow. to, yeah, yeah. It was just all a big so fiasco. When, when does that episode air of that reality TV show that you're on now? <laughs> no, one, no one stole my grave plot. i mean they're running out of ideas oops i found an extra body (laughs) and i remember this that 
employees of the cemetery said this happens more than you would think. Oh, oh no way. Sad. Why? It's very sad. Yeah, I know, right? So yeah. how how often do you think we're going to the cemetery and we think we're at grandma's gravesite and it's not grandma? <laughs> well, it may it may not be. I'm just saying. I don't know. It might be like a king me situation. <laughs> <laughs> just layering just, us up there. Well, you have to think about it. There's only so many spots for so many dead bodies. Right, so right. true. Well, like, weren't they, like, I want to say, I can't remember where it was. I read it, but, like, I was reading about how, like, some, like, small towns would, like, st- stack people. They would dig extra deep so they, because they knew that eventually they would run out of space. So they would put two gravestones in one plot because they had to put another body on top of it. I've have... always wondered why cemeteries aren't just like miles long. Like, where is everybody? <clears throat> it's a good question. It's a very good question. Well, you know, we are butt dust. <laughs> I think a lot of people are and, just cremating right now. So there's you. like, there, there really is literally dust everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> I think we need to end this right now. Just I agree. <laughs> this, this is getting really, really morbid. This might be the darkest <laughs> one yet. But it's interesting. <laughs> it is an interesting <laughs> question, which I feel like maybe we should come back to at some point. Where's all okay. the dead bodies? <laughs> all right. I think we should call an expert, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Find out. Um, Je- choose your thing. What? Janelle is yeah. the crypt keeper. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, it's too creepy. No, 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 no. I don't want to be that kind of an expert. No, oh. sorry. Well, Janelle, uh, as huh. a as a, a great Janelle. philosopher once said, uh, I didn't choose the thug life. The thug life chose me. Oh my god! So, it's oh. kind of where you are right now. You didn't choose. You didn't choose the crypt life. The crypt life chose you. <laughs> and, I want out. I want out. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm that's, done. that's that's the nugget. That's the nugget. <laughs> nugget hate mail at gmail dot com if you happen to work at a cemetery because we have some questions. <laughs> we do. We have questions. That is an understatement. Who knew that would go so deep? 